Most people, it's the ego that gets in the way. Oh man, you can't, you know, and their ego drives their decision making. Whereas realistically, we're very pragmatic. And so it's <laughs> like, you know, hey, if I'm buying a deal for $18 million, 40 grand is nothing. Like it really is. I mean, like it doesn't move the needle one bit in terms of the total return to the project or to the investors or to me. I know 40 grand is a lot of money. I understand that. But in the bigger picture, it is not. And so that's where, you know, that's part of the equation. Yeah, uh, 40, 40 grand on, on a, on a, when you put a cap rate on that, it's, I mean, it's nothing. What is it like, like a dollar a door, if that, you know, it's like, you know, it's, it's nothing. It's not, and, you know, and so, but so we look for these properties and most of the properties we get, not all, but most of them are coming in some form of off market fashion. And then we're looking for that ingredient, like with Parkside Crossing, where, you know, here it is, it's been operated. Uh, the market is changing around it, meaning improving, getting better. There's more demand for quality and, and, and the units have not been updated in line with what people are looking for. And, you know, look, we focus on affordable workforce housing, meaning, you know, just regular working Americans that are making, call it 35 to $65,000 a year as a salary or income. Um, those people would like a nice place to live. They're no different than you or me, you know, mm -hmm. and, and our model of business is to find those undervalued properties like that, where again, even the one in Tampa, we're paying market price for it, but it's undervalued because it's not been updated and the rents are a thousand. Same thing at Parkside Crossing. It's undervalued and the rents are 800. Good Lord, all around the rents are 1100. You know what I mean? But they are nicer properties and people are willing to pay uh, more money for a better quality of life. I mean, think about it like you or me, like, do you want to live in a crappy place or you like going home and you have a little bit of sanctity when you go home at night? Cause Hey, work can be challenging. All of us got challenges, you know, could yep. be stressful. And that's the same thing for the guy that's working at the FedEx distribution thing. You know, you got to get out the packages and it's stressful. And, you know, and when he goes home, he'd rather, pay a thousand fifty than eight fifty and be in a nice place that's relaxing and you know well run and close to his work so he doesn't have to fight traffic for 45 minutes you know it's it's just kind of seeking to find out where people are at and providing value to meet them you know and that's what we've been able to do very successfully uh in parkside crossing is a great example of it you know if you were to look at the map, like this property, it's in, you know, Southern Atlanta, right by the airport, only 10 minutes away from the airport. And if you know anything about Atlanta, it's like, it is a traffic stall nightmare for the most part. You know, people are accustomed to driving 45 minutes to an hour just to get to work. And again, I go back to the guy that's working at the FedEx distribution, making 43,000 a year. Is he really want to drive 45 minutes after a shift of you know nine ten hours he'd rather drive 10 minutes and that makes a competitive advantage because like this property is located right by the airport where all these distribution and light manufacturing hubs are and it's not a lot of competition there because there's a lot of industrial stuff out there and so that's a great opportunity to transition and begin renovating this units to now make it a nice oasis for the guy to, hey, 10 minute drive from work and I've got a beautiful two bedroom apartment and, you know, I got room for my kids to play and it makes life better. And so that's what we focus on doing.